Yo, what's up, y'all? I'm breaking down an R&B sort of melody, and um, this is something, for example, Summer Walker could hop on or Bryson Tiller. And uh, yeah, let's break down the melody. So I started off with a contact piano, Noir, and the preset that I went with is called Emotional, and it's out of the grand piano section. And those are the chords that I laid down. Now starting off with the first chord, as you can see a couple of those notes are inverted, um, so especially D in this case, and I'm just gonna bring up G by one octave, so you can see that this is a simple triad again, I always try to start off with simple triads and then kind of build around as you can see, and by doing that you will definitely create a lot of depth to your melody. Then another very important thing with R&B melodies is to kind of switch up the velocity, as you can see the velocities are definitely switched up a lot in here, and you can either do that by pressing Alt R, and that will bring up those randomizer options that you have, so you can play around with the velocities right here and then just press accept. Or you can, for example, do it manually by shifting around the note with none and then hovering over it and, you know, kind of just uh, scrolling down with your mouse and pressing Alt uh, while doing it. As of for effects, you want to keep it simple with those piano melodies, at least for the main melody. I have a reverb on here. It's from Softube and uh, this bundle comes with the Scarlett 2A2 interface that uh, I just bought and uh, definitely a nice bundle. I'm checking it out right now and uh, there's a bunch of effects in here. Next up, we have a piano lead and it sounds like this. So yeah, I kind of just played around with the same notes that I started off with and there's a fruity convolver on here and I'm just gonna turn off the effect and then play without it so y'all can hear the difference. That's obviously without it, and now with the effects. So yeah, it sounds a lot larger and more in the distance. And um, yeah, I just went with that sort of lead to uh, kind of keep it interesting for the listener. And uh, that's already it for the piano melodies. Next up, I went with a preset out of Analog Lab and it's specifically out of the loophole expansion. And this is the preset that I went with and it's sort of a Mellotron piano and I kind of use it as an accent. And you definitely want to have a lot of accents in this melody style. Um, especially perk loops. I also have a perk loop in here that we're gonna break down later. And this is one of the accents that I went with. So yeah, see I can see pretty simple. The effect that I have on here is also um, a delay out of the soft tube bundle. Um, definitely a nice plugin for sure, but in this case it doesn't really make a big difference. Um, kind of just um, adds a little bit of delay and doesn't change too much. Last but not least, for the uh, contact instances and also the VSDs that I went with, um, I went with a roundwood bass out of contact and uh, this is sort of a soft bass and this is what it sounds like. Then it starts over again, as y'all can see. Um, same melody going on here, uh, same bass notes as the piano melody. And um, all I did is kind of EQ the bass and you definitely want to keep your EQ pretty simple when it comes to um, bass sounds. Um, so all I did is just cut out the mid and high end and just leave the low end basically. And that will give you most of the times a pretty soft sound that you can definitely use for R&B sort of uh, melodies. Now on to the next element. We went with a perk loop in here. This is what it sounds like. And uh, I just took the same perk loop over and over and laid it throughout the melody. This perk loop has a bunch of effects on here and we're gonna break down the effects. First off, I started off with a Foodie Love filter. I started off with a normal preset, just a standard default preset out of uh, Foodie Love filter. Took it down a little and then did the same thing with the master right here. And if I just play it like this, it's gonna sound like this. So yeah, pretty um, fast too fast for R&B in my opinion. Um, that's why there's a half time on here as well. Then I just took an EQ and cut out uh, most of the low end basically and a little bit of the high end. Your ear can basically not process anything over 2000 Hertz. That's why I just cut that out. That's what that sounds like now. Filter Freak that will basically just kind of play with EQing and filtering. Pancake. And then I put a reverb on here and that will definitely make a difference now. Uh, 
And the, the reverb that makes the most difference is definitely the ambience. And the ambience is for free. Um, that one up here isn't. Uh, it's out of the soft tube bundle as well. Um, but ambience is a free reverb, has a bunch of presets. Um, definitely a go-to for me. So if you want to uh, grab that, definitely do. And um, then there's a halftime on here, which uh, gives it that slower vibe that I went with. Yeah, and that's already it for the perk loop. Now, next up, we have uh, this sound right here. And I think this is actually out of Mirror Touch from Nick Mirror. And um, I have a bunch of effects on here as well. Uh, it's just routed to basically the same mixer track. And all I did apart from that is uh, just pan it to the left side of your ear and then pitch it up by 700 cents or seven semitones. Next up, we have another perk in here. Sounds like this all together now. And the perk on its own sounds like this. Yeah, so it has a delay on here, that perk, and um, an ambience. And that's basically all there is to it. And then we have another perk and sort of a piano one-shot, also out of mirror touch. And that one-shot is routed to the same mixer track as your Soldier. So there's an ambience on here. Again, the reverb kind of makes a difference in here. And um, also another thing out of a soft tube bundle, uh, a Marshall Silver Jubilee, uh, whatever that's called. And um, this is sort of a preamp and it has a bunch of effects on here and uh, a bunch of cool presets as well. And uh, yeah, that's all the perk. And uh, since I added to the melody and this is what those sound like on its own. And this right here kind of also gives it a nice vibe. And all I did right here is just take a bunch of rims and just put them in, you know, into the playlist and then played around with the pitching and the panning especially. Uh, so you definitely don't want to have everything in the center, just play around with it. Then all together, um, you already know what the melody sounds like, but I added a different part in here and I pitched up the piano from the beginning by one octave, as you can see, and then just kept the perks in here. And this is what that sounds like. That's already it for the melody. Now all I did afterwards is just lay those parts out. Yeah, I hope you all learned something from this video and uh, catch you on the next one.